So Flux AI is getting so real that it's really hard to tell that these images are real or the AI generated. And just look at these Reddit posts. This is so real that nobody can tell that this is AI generated. But you may be thinking that why are we not getting this level of hyper realism? As in my previous video, I have shared a couple of methods to access the Flux AI, and one of them was the Glyph. And we have tested the Flux Pro model inside of the Glyph AI, but still we wasn't able to get this level of quality. The images were uh, very stylized, and uh, you can easily detect that this was the AI generated image. But now there is a one more method to get most out of the Flux AI. Let me show you how. Now, first of all, we need to understand how how they are achieving this level of results so basically they are using flux realism lora model so what it does the comfy ui flux realism lora workflow elevates AI image generation to new heights of photorealism so basically this is trained on very high quality and refined images that's why we are getting these kind of results and if i look at these example images just look at that how real they look but this is not an easy process because you can only run this model inside of the comfy ui and the comfy ui is a very complicated process and you can see this workflow a normal people cannot understand what's going on in this image but there are a couple of methods to use this workflow online but few people on reddit have already shared that you don't need the realism lora model to get the photorealistic results you just need to tone down the flux guidance values around uh, 1.6 and 2.2 and you will get these kind of photorealistic results so we're going to test all of these things together we're going to test the lora workflow and we will also try to generate the images with the lower guidance scale now the first method to access this lora workflow online is going to be segmind so this is the website segmind.com so basically this is a cloud service you can run different models uh, on this website so if i click on the model section you can see we have different models like sam v2 images then we have the flux image to image option then we have the animate flux dev flex chanel pro model and if i scroll down even further you can see we have some llama models here right so this is all cloud based but we are only interested in the flux realism so just click on that and here is the interface so you can see this is the initial image that is by default generated with this AI and this is the prompt a young woman smiling while speaking on stage from segments and a white background with the corporate logos blurred out so you can also see segment logo behind her and here you can see we have a couple of more settings like you can change the number of steps then you can adjust the seed numbers and then you have the option to change the aspect ratio and next we have the lora strength and you can even adjust the strength of this model accordingly right and next we have the upscaling option so if you want to use this it all depends on you and if i click on the advanced parameters you can see we have scheduler just like stable diffusion and this is a list of schedulers but we're gonna use the default one and then we have this sampler name uh, so this is just like a stable diffusion so if you have already used stable diffusion you know what these values are now let's run this same prompt so i'm gonna click on this generate button and let's see what it comes up with and one more thing to keep in mind is that this is not a free website so these are the pricing options and in the free plan i don't see any credits option in this one but these are some of the advantages that you get from a free plan now here is the output image and just look at that it looks really really good just look at the details so if i open this in a new tab you guys can see even the text on the background it looks really good you can see the hands it looks like a real photograph so let's compare this with the glyph output so i'm gonna go ahead to the glyph.com and uh, if you're not familiar with the glyph i have already shared this website in my previous video so select the image generation model and from here we're gonna select the flex pro and other settings will be same and let's copy and paste the same prompt and run this glyph all right so here is the output from the glyph ai and if we compare both of these images side by side so this is the segments workflow and this is the output from the glyph ai and the first thing that you will notice is the skin tone difference so in the glyph ai image if i zoom it in you guys can see the skin is extra shiny and there is some kind of stylization on the face but in case of the lora model you can see the skin texture each and everything looks very very natural well i'm not saying that the glyph image is bad but uh, the guy who is into ai can easily uh, spot that this is ai generated image because of this stylization but in case of lora workflow this is way more natural now let's try one more prompt an old man in a ponytail and let's see all right so these are the results from the segment lora workflow and you guys can see the skin texture each and everything looks really really good and these are the results from the glyph image well both of these images are very similar there are some changes there are some differences but i would say there's not a big difference in both of these images even uh, the glyph image is looking more appealing to the eyes but there is one more method to use this workflow and that is going to be fall dot 
AI and again this is a cloud based service and uh, you have to keep in mind that this is not free but in free plan it gives you some credits that you can use and try it out. So simply sign up your account. So once you are in just scroll down and click on the Flux Realism LoRa and then you can see we have this interface in front of us and if I click on the additional settings you can see we have the aspect ratio options you can select the number of steps again but one more option that we have here is the guidance scale that we were missing in both of other tools. So you can adjust the guidance scale accordingly that I'm going to show you later in the video like how just changing the guidance scale can improve your images. So this is a default prompt and this is very lengthy prompt so we're going to try this same prompt and from the guidance scale I'm going to keep the guidance values around 3 and let's run this prompt. Alright so this is the output and just look at that. Look at the details, each and everything looks really really good but still there is some shininess to his forehead that may make it look uh, AI generated right but we're gonna fix this thing and for that you just have to keep the guidance scale around 1.5 or maybe around 2 so I'm gonna keep it around 1.7 and let's run the same prompt and see if we can get some better results. Alright so this is the output with the guidance scale 1.5 and you can see the details are washed out in this one but these are the results with the guidance scale 2.5 and look at that. This one looking much more realistic than the previous one. So I think the guidance scale 2.5 works best in every case because you can see the skin textures are there, the quality is there, each and everything is in the image and it looks like a real photograph but in case of 1.5 you can see the skin texture and the contrast in the image is missing. Now let's try the same prompt inside of the Glyph AI. So I'm going to copy this prompt and head over to the Glyph AI. Just paste it here and run this Glyph. Alright so this is the output image and I would say this is not bad but you can see the skin looks little bit plasticky. But in case of this one you can see this one looks much more natural. But what if I just lower the prompt power to 2.5 as we did in the case of fall.ai and hit generate let's see what it comes up with. Alright so these are the results with the prompt power 2.5 and I would say it looks much much better than the previous one. So these was the result with the 3.5 you can see the skin is very you know stylized and plasticky and in case of this one this is much more natural. So if you don't want to pay to the file.ai you can just use the glyph ai and just lower the settings and you can get the same amount of results almost same amount of results with free plan because at this moment while I'm recording this video glyph ai is totally free to use and I don't know how long this will be but at this moment you can enjoy this for free and the results are very very impressive. So that's it from today. I hope you guys learned something new and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.